I want to make sure everyone understands what we're doing with this coronavirus. Uh, we are trying to contain the spread of the virus. Uh, how do you contain the spread of the virus? By testing as many people as you can, find the positives, and then isolate the positive people. That's how you contain the spread of the virus. Why do we want to contain the spread of the virus? What happens if you don't contain the spread? Two things happen. Uh, first, you would have to take uh, more drastic measures. Uh, what, you, what we have seen in China, what we're seeing in Italy, you'd have to do massive quarantine, which would be very disruptive to society and the economy. Uh, China basically closed down everything for two weeks. Uh, closed restaurants, closed schools, closed businesses, closed down everything. It is massively disruptive uh, for society, for people, and for the economy. The second consequence is the vulnerable populations here, senior citizens, people with compromised immune systems, people with underlying illnesses, this is a dangerous disease for them for the vulnerable populations. For most people, you'd get ill, you'd recover, you'd go on with life. So those are the two reasons we are trying to contain the virus. Uh, basically, we want to reduce as much as possible situations creating density. So I've been saying to business leaders, first, have a liberal sick leave policy for your employees. If somebody is sick, stay home. Uh, if you feel symptoms, stay home. And I'd like the companies to communicate that to their employees, that they will pay them liberal sick leave policy to stay home. To the extent private sector companies can stagger their uh, workers, uh, shifts of workers. So one shift comes in early, one shift comes in late. To the extent the private sector company can say, stay at home, non-essential workers. Uh, work from home. More and more, this is a digital economy. To the extent workers can work at home, let them work at home. We want to reduce the density. Uh, citizens have a role that they can play. Uh, yes, wash your hands. Uh, let's not handshake now. The uh, that great new elbow bump. Looks like it could be the beginning of a new dance move. Commissioner Zucker recommends to me every flu season that we should tell people don't shake hands. So uh, this is not an extraordinary precaution, but it's something that citizens can do to help. Uh, if citizens are making ma taking mass transit, uh, if you can move to a train car that is not as dense, if you see a packed train car, let it go by, wait for the next train. Same with the, uh, if you're taking a bus. It's the density, the proximity that we are trying to reduce. The single best thing we can do is testing. Why? Because the more you test, the more positives you identify, the more people you can isolate and stop the spread. That's why so much of this is about testing. Uh, on testing, we need more help from the federal government and the CDC. Uh, the CDC, I believe, was slow to begin with. They were not ready for this. They should have been ready for this. We saw what was happening in China. Anyone who didn't realize that someone from China was going to get on a plane and come to the United States uh, was delusional, frankly. Uh, second, the CDC has been slow in allowing states and other commercial laboratories to test. Uh, we were asking the CDC, which in the beginning was doing all the tests themselves, we said, let the state of New York do tests. We have a great lab called the Wadsworth Lab. Let us use Wadsworth. There was a delay in letting the states do the testing. Finally, they let the states do the testing. Uh, now we're saying the testing capacity 
is more than the state lab can handle, let us bring in private labs to help do the testing. Uh, why? Because we want more capacity, we need more capacity. 